Good morning, guys. It is Saturday. I am so excited. Look who is back. I just couldn't deal with it anymore. I needed a formal dining table, so we've got this out of storage. We're going to be cleaning it. I'm gonna redo this whole room. I have been waiting to do this all week. We got the table back a couple days ago, and I have been so busy at work that I actually haven't had a chance to do it. What is, where did those come from? Okay, strange. Um, that may have come, I don't know where that came from. Anyway, so we are going to <laughs> clean this room and do a giant redecorate with me. I cannot wait. Let's get into it. The first thing I really want to get done in here is to clean everything up. I asked my husband to move all of this furniture kind of down to the other side of this room, move the fireplace over, which is so great to have a um, fake fireplace because you can move it around. I still don't know where these Cokes came from. I think I did an order um, for shipped and I may have had that to restock the outdoor um, we have like a little outdoor barbecue area where I always keep drinks for guests, but I think my kids and the neighbor kids got into it. So, I mean, not the worst thing that could happen, but anyway, we're gonna clean that up. I also wanna remove all of my Easter decor, so we will be coming back through here and decorating again for Easter, which should be super exciting. I also have some really fun DIY projects for you guys in this video. I'm so excited. I have to tell you, bringing this table to the new house makes me feel like my old self again. I don't know what it is, but I just felt myself coming back this entire day and it felt great. Now that I have everything pretty wiped down, this table has been in storage for about a year and a half, so I really wanted to give it a nice deep clean. Then I'm going to start adding decor back into this space. I just wanted to keep this a little bit less cluttered this time around. I mean, I obviously love going over the top for all the holidays, but because I'm gonna be doing a tablescape, I didn't want it to look super cluttered in here, so I'm just gonna be adding a couple florals. Almost all of these florals are from Balsam Hill. I will link down below. I usually ask them for coupon codes and they give them to me, so I will reach out and ask them for a coupon code. I'm also gonna be using a bunch of Balsam Hill decor for my tablescapes. I'm gonna be doing three different tablescapes to kind of see what I wanna do for Easter, and I'm gonna take you guys along with me. I also decided to change up how I did the pillows on this couch, and I think it looks much nicer. These are just um, little pillows I picked up from Home Goods, but they have a little pop of green on them, and I typically do blues in here, but I'm really loving the green vibe, hence my outfit as well. I must be getting into like a green spirit lately. <laughs> so anyway, um, I'm just going to go ahead and decorate this area. I also want to redo the coffee table. I really want to see if I can find a bronze um, Chihuahua statue since Chewie has passed away. Um, I have Ellie sitting there. So if you guys know of um, any bronze statues with Chihuahuas, please send them to me in the comments down below because I really would love to have that. We miss him terribly. The house just doesn't feel the same without him. This is our first time not having a dog at all, which has been rather difficult. So I'm really hoping that um, we can find a nice bronze statue to put next to Miss Ellie here. Everybody has their job, nine to five and getting drained. They settle for second best, scared to risk what the future might bring. What the future might bring. Before we get into our DIY and decorating portion of this video, I wanted to thank Scentbird for sponsoring today's video. If you guys aren't familiar with Scentbird, they are a fragrance subscription that lets you choose new designer fragrances to try every single month for just 17 bucks. You don't have to invest a lot of money in all of these fragrances, and then you can actually buy them if you like them. They have over 700 perfumes and colognes and many unisex options as well. They carry brands like Gucci, Prada, Versace, all the good ones 
ones. My favorite are all the ones that I'm not familiar with. So those kind of like indie um, underground fragrances are the ones I always tend to absolutely love. You'll get a 30 day supply so you can try out fragrances before committing to a full bottle size. I think I'm gonna go for today, I'm gonna do the Seven Summers by Dime. So this is the little vial it comes in. And you can throw this into your purse, but it is glass, so I suggest you keep it in this little carrier. And then you twist it, you can twist it to lock it, so when it's in your bag, it's not like pumping away. And then when it's unlocked, you can actually... Mm. The pear in this is so good. With It's got a vanilla lavender, champagne, warm sugar, juicy pear, and coconut cream. You guys, this tastes like a vacation. Mm, this one smells like a vacation. It smells so good. This one is Seven Summers by Dime, if you guys are interested in checking that out. That's that brand. This other one by Avant, it's called um, Parisian Sunset has the most beautiful violet notes. Oh, wow. If you guys wanna join me and level up your fragrance game, you can use my coupon, which is Lauren55OFF to get 55% off your first month at Scentbird, which comes to around seven bucks. You guys, that's an absolute steal. And thank you again to Scentbird for sponsoring today's video. Okay guys, let's get decorating. While I was unboxing a bunch of Easter decor, I found a couple things that like this really cute garland I had was completely knotted up and I thought I would just take it apart and make some really cute napkin rings with it. I had all these napkin rings I bought in bulk from Amazon, I will link down below, and I thought I would just use a hot glue gun and glue these on. They were so cute, I didn't wanna get rid of them, so I ended up just DIYing them into napkin rings, and then I'm gonna set a table that is all carrot themed. I'm also gonna be doing another one that's pink and green, and then we're gonna do a blue and white kind of traditional. So I am really excited. This is the one, um, one project that was kind of easy. The other one, a couple years ago, I had um, purchased these little tiny carrots and these little tiny baskets from Amazon, and I had a vision of making these um, napkin rings. I want to tell you this was probably around 2020, and I was going through all my decor, and I'm like, this is the year I'm going to actually put these together and see if they turn out cute, but I think they turned out adorable. So you could use the little carrots for either the carrot theme tablescape or just Easter in general, or even maybe a garden theme party they'd be really cute for that too but you'll have to see how those turn out in a bit for now I'm just going to get all of these done I made eight in total of both sets um, even though today we're only going to be setting the table for six Originally, I was going to actually glue those um, little baskets onto the napkin rings from Amazon, but they just they really stuck out too far. Looking back, I could have actually put a little um, sweet little ribbon between the napkin ring and the basket, and I think that would have been cute too, but that's fine. I have plenty more of these baskets. Maybe we'll do that in another video coming up, but I just decided to find kind of a neutral ribbon in the garage, and I'm just gonna cut these, and I'm gonna glue them on these uh, this ribbon. It, it turns out really cute, but I think if I had a more substantial one it might look a little bit better like maybe a little bit more professionally done which I'm not a professional but um, anyway it turns out cute I just wanted to say if you were going to do this yourself I would possibly grab like a very thin little ribbon with some gingham very neutral and kind of tuck it in a bow underneath the basket in between the um, other napkin ring you could probably also find some DIY napkin rings at the dollar store or also Amazon I 
For my first tablescape, I was going through all of my decor. Yes, I changed because it was getting very hot in this house, but I was going through all my decor and I found a bunch of carrots in um, the kind of like all my Easter stuff. And then I also have like a garden theme with fruits and vegetables. Um, so I decided to kind of marry the two. I've done a similar tablescape to this before. I haven't done tablescapes in a year and a half because I didn't have a table in this house until now. So I'm a little bit rusty, but it's only going to get better from here. So I decided I'm just going Going to add I have all of these really cute uh, little cabbage bowls I always find these at home goods I, I it's the only place I can find them ever but you can I think I saw somebody posted maybe it was Tori posted at um, Hobby Lobby that they had something similar but I just think they're so classic and beautiful I plan on using them all summer long and then I tucked in some cabbage I got that at home goods no I got that at Hobby Lobby years ago on sale I wanted them so bad, but they're so fun to play with. And then I'm just tucking in these carrots. I want to say all of these carrots came from Home Goods as well. Um, that's usually the only two places I shop for decor is Home Goods, and then we have, you know, a Target, obviously, and then um, we have a Hobby Lobby that's about 25, 30 minutes away from here. So I don't go there often, but usually what I do is try to shop online, see exactly what I want, and then wait for it to go on sale, and then I'll drive over there and pick it up. Um, sometimes I do order stuff from online, but typically they don't put a whole lot in their fulfillment center. So... I like doing it that way, but I always try to think of a theme, and I think this turns out really cute with the carrots. I can't wait to show you how the cute little baskets turn out as well. And then these mats that I have underneath these chargers are paper, and I found those at Home Goods um, a couple years ago. If I love a little harder, if I love all the ways the world If I embrace every fall, learn to grow and keep myself tall. Since we are now in the Easter portion of this beautiful year, please tell us in the comments down below, what are your favorite traditions to share with your family for Easter? I absolutely love the season of, you know, St. Patrick's Day, Easter. I just find them to be magical, whimsical times. The kids love them. If you guys are on my Instagram or you can go over there now, I did a little reel on it, but every single year we kind of go over the top for St. Patrick's Day. I remember being a kid and always thinking the leprechauns were real. My mom was Irish Italian and my dad is uh, pretty much all German Italian. So 
the Irish side is strong in me. I think Irish Italian is pretty strong in me and my mom loved St. Patrick's Day. So I thought it'd be really fun to kind of create that tradition when I became a mom. But Easter is also one of those magical times when the kids find things all over. So tell us your favorite traditions down below. And here's how the tablescape turned out. How adorable is this little napkin ring? I just think it looks so cute. And I use those green plates I've used before and this is kind of a pink and green. I told you guys I was doing like a pink and green carrot theme. So this is how that tablescape turns out. I pretty much used everything with a carrot. And then these little bags, I decided to put in some really cute little um, bunny rabbits. So I will tuck those in and share that with you in a moment. When I became a mom, my mom passed down a bunch of decor to me and these little Easter bunnies she used to put all around the house. She probably had 30 of them. They're really small and cute. So I ended up adding those to the tablescape, but they're also on the mantle as well. So the next tablescape we're gonna do is going to be very spring inspired. I love this garland. It's from Balsam Hill. I will link it down below. I use it pretty much all season until summer. The colors are super vibrant and they're very thick and full. And I just, I love Love balsam hill everything it is just if you're going to invest in decor you guys get really good decor otherwise you're just going to keep spending money on it so this tablescape i'm going to be doing is more green themed i added some eggs an egg garland from michael's i got years ago down the center just to kind of bring the eggs in i was going to tuck a bunch of eggs in here but i just thought it looked so beautiful i didn't want to overcomplicate it and, and just remember i used two garlands there and then i'm using these chargers i picked up at michael's they're very like chantelly lace they're pretty and i just did a simple light green kind of a mossy green again i'm really in a mossy green mood <laughs> these days so i just added that and then these spring plates are from home goods trees are in green the ocean is gray sky is a vague blue is a mess it could use a hand my favorite tv shows to capture i know my scatter right my scat back in the fight this can't be a surprise i think i'll let it slide I found these little place card holder um, nests at an antique store many, many years ago, and I just love them. That garland with the little eggs is from the dollar store. I just wasn't gonna use it, so I decided to pull those off and use some of those fake florals to tuck in there just to make it sweet. And then these um, glasses are so beautiful. They would be great with like a peach fizz or something inside of them. Those are from Home Goods. I always try to find fun glassware. I, I just love colors. I love all of those things, I just need more storage. Today, as I'm doing this voiceover, um, my husband's construction team will be here building the 12 foot um, bookshelf so I can put some family photos and books and all kinds of things on, I'm very excited. So here's how this tablescape turned out. So it's a little more subdued from the carrots. I love these little baskets with the eggs and florals tucked in. I did add some green bunnies to this because it's kind of a green theme and these glasses, I just absolutely adore them. I'm always afraid they're gonna break so I hardly ever use them, but I need to start using them. My themes for this year has always, you know, kind of been just go ahead and do the things. Life is short. It's later than you think. Do all the things that make you happy. 
Hence why we brought the table home. And then I just use these simple little bunny ears, those burlap ones I've had for a long time. I wanna say I got those at Hobby Lobby years ago. I was very proud of myself. This tablescape today and the tab the two t other tablescapes we did, I didn't purchase anything new. Everything is old or um, I've been handed down by my family member. So I was very proud of that. The feeling of thirst, desire to be a rock in my heels. I'm numbers of poison. Falls in my veins Guess I got used to avoiding the pain I know I must get it right I must get back in the fight This can't be a surprise I think I'll let it slide I'm sleepwalking through All of my problems, I know I can't make it through Every night is the same I keep... As you guys have probably guessed, the last tablescape is going to be the blue and white. I absolutely love how this turned out. So the two large hydrangeas are from um, Balsam Hill and then the outer two are from Home Goods. You can tell Balsam Hill, just the quality is so good. But anyway, I'm gonna use these blue and white. I decided to do checker. I was gonna do kind of um, like a, a lacy version of these, but I ended up just going with checker and it turns out really, really cute. I changed it up a couple times just cause I felt like it was a little overwhelming. And then I'm gonna use my blue and white floral um, French country uh, dishes for this. And I just, I ended up keeping it. It's still down there at this moment because it just looks so beautiful. I am gonna be doing lots of tablescapes. I can already tell. I'm just so happy to be back and doing the things that I love. And I just love this table. It's been fun to sit in here too. I don't mind the round table. You guys, a lot of you asked me um, for the link to that. It's from Wayfair. I always, typically always have it linked down below. This table is from Wisteria and um, it uh, gets, I think it can seat up to 12. I have five leaves that go into this. Obviously we're not gonna use all those today, but just the mere thought that I could make it that big just gives me so much pleasure. So we're gonna get this table set. I love how this turns out, but wait till the very end of this video. I wanna know what you guys like the most, the pink one, the green one, or the blue and white. So here is how the blue and white tablescape turned out. I added our DIY little napkin rings. I just thought those would look so cute. Bringing a little bit of that green from the um, florals here on the chart, or not the charger, but the plate here, the salad plate. And then I brought the blue in with the stripes. I thought that was kind of fun, the plaid with the stripes and then all of the um, kind of like the more ornateness of these uh, di dishes underneath and um, the florals. Anyway, so I thought this, this happens to be my personal favorite out of all the tablescapes. It's just very classic and very, I loved all the different patterns on this uh, tablescape. It's just more fun. I'm not a big fan of the color pink. I don't know why, just even as a little kid, green and blue have always been my favorite colors. Um, so I typically use them more than anything. Uh, so this is definitely my favorite, but I would like to know in the comments, what is your favorite tablescape from today? I have so much more coming up. I also want to take you on a little tour of how this space looks since we completely changed everything about it. Bit of taste.
Thank you so much for joining me today for this spring Easter decorate with me. I hope you got inspired to go and decorate your tables. Don't forget to tell us what you think about them down below and don't forget to check out Scentbird. The links are down below and use code Lauren 55 off to get 55% off your first order. Okay guys, I'll see you in the next video real soon. Bye. I need a break. Maybe that's why I fade into this bitter taste. I think I'll let it be.